Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Army. Today we are looking at more of my favourite craft from the mailbag streams. Um, I was going to do these once every three months after the first one, then I checked the date. It must be about time to do another one. Oh, it should have been last month. Never mind. Uh, anyway, in the background you can see a quick fight I threw together between one of my favourite craft, the Mariana Solar. It's already featured on this channel in another video, and my own Spike Tail. My own sort of best non-hacky craft against the Mariana Solo, which is a very, very hacky craft, and you have a Spike Tail one, but my god, it was a struggle. Anyway, yes, inevitably, with four months' worth of uh, stuff to get through, there will be some very deserving craft that don't make an appearance here. I could do three or four of these videos and still have plenty of them left over, but um, regardless, here's my own somewhat arbitrary selection of some of them. We start with a simple 3v3 dogfight between two craft who have taken, shall we say, a more defensive approach to things. Uh, both of these craft are by nobody, um, not literally nobody, well you get, you get what I'm going on about. Um, yes, uh, this one is the flying countermeasure, um, it is, yes, capable of evading your missiles and destroying my frame rate. It has a ridiculous amount of countermeasures, it has this turret, it has these smoke, um, smoke dispensers. And then we have the Beast, which takes a somewhat different approach to things. This is... I think this is the first properly armoured craft I've ever been sent. Um, it didn't do too well. It's actually also armed with six of these Air 2 Air... Uh, sorry, Air 2 Genies. Um, air 2 Air, Air 2 Genies. And um, two Gow 8. It didn't do too well. Its cockpit proved to be a little bit of a vulnerability. Also, the flying countermeasure out the back here has what, um, what the stream decided to dub the Ass Nuke. <laughs> which never actually, never actually was properly used, but uh, there we go. Uh, yes, as I was saying, it seems a bit, seems a bit weird uh, with the uh, the lack of space in this video to put um, to put two graph by one person in. But this was, this was just such a perfect pairing, I couldn't really resist it. Let's uh, let's get this one going. And our competition starts. The uh, the beasts are fairly slow to get around. I did check this craft isn't actually that heavy. Just switching to dogfight cam there. Away goes one of the Air 2 Genies. Um, yeah, it, I think I might have put a slightly more powerful engine in. I probably would have been tempted to put one of the Saturns, uh, Saturns on it because at... Um, uh, hang on, is that... Have you got... Oh, I thought, I thought it released an Air 2 Genie and the Air 2 Genie got stuck. That would not have been good. Okay, back to the dogfight cam. It looks like the... Um, looks like the flying countermeasures with all their well, all their countermeasures might get far enough away from the Air 2 Genies to avoid any serious harm. Yeah, looks like they're just going flying past. Uh, doesn't have a lock. There goes one of them. There goes another one. Are they going to take out any of the flying countermeasures? <laughs> not really a flying, not really a countermeasure for, um, for nuclear missiles, but there we go. It looks like two of them have been heavily damaged. Yeah, this one's struggling. This one dead. One healthy flying countermeasure left. Rapidly closing the distance. Firing missiles. Will one be enough? It looks like they've launched another genie. That's probably going to be kind of suicidal at that point. It exploded far too soon. Even with the help of all that armour. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> one of them taken out. Hoisted by its own petard. More missiles going in. I don't think the uh, the beasts are going to be trying another missile like that at this range. Where is this one? This one's dead. I think it's lost its air intake. This one, yeah, losing some armor. Still flying though. Trying to get away some stuff. Oh my god! Stripping parts off of the flying countermeasure. And it goes into the ground. <laughs> Short but sweet and effective, yeah. So two, uh, oh, this one's just landed, just standing, just lying here on the ground. How you doing? It's two interesting approaches to uh, to <laughs> to putting the emphasis on defence in a dogfight. Um, the uh, the beast is victorious. Let's um, let's move on. Another themed dogfight, this with this sort of retro future biplane look. I really do like these two craft. This is the V22F Troll Machine by, uh, by Vist. Yes, um, I do love the little open cockpit here. <laughs> the little open cockpit. 
and the Atom Rams and Sidewinders. And that will be going up against the Comet by Pontus Bengtsson. Um, not the open cockpit this time, but it does have just a, a random repeller on the front for good luck, um, as it's got the, uh, the four Saturn engines. Let's, um, let's get this one going. And the competition starts. Watermelon and Kerman in the lead. The 22F is around quickly. Um, it's funny. I'm not normally a huge fan of this sort of retro future or sort of any kind of steampunk kind of aesthetic. Apart from there's the odd thing that I really like, and for some reason this thing with the biplane really is one of them. Um, also worth noting that the comet. I I also love the comet for si for similar reasons, but it got kind of wasted in its um in its time on the mailbag streams. Oh my God. Some terrain avoidance problems um, because it didn't have any countermeasures. So I've had to go and put countermeasures on. Okay, the other two seem to be doing okay, but uh, I, I'd have put my money on these. I'd put my money on these before the fight, to be honest. Um, just with the uh, with that little bit of extra wing area and the, uh, the, four, the four Saturn engines. But no, it looks like the troll machines, <laughs> these, Hideously wobbly things. Let's turn on the dogfight cam. Might actually, uh, might actually take it. Again, just look at them. Just oh, one of the uh, one of the troll machines has taken a hit. One of the troll machines has taken a hit as an, a sidewinder goes uh, goes zooming past one of the comets. This one, well out of it at the moment. Steve Kerman gets away. A pair of sidewinder. No, sorry, not a pair of sidewinder. Well, one sidewinder and his wingman does does likewise. Forcing it very low, and as we've seen, that can be something of a weakness, and oh my god! <laughs> Ion Kerman, bless his little cotton socks, still trying valiantly. But I, I don't think... Oh! Oh, maybe! Maybe, 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 maybe! No. <laughs> I, I just, I just give it up, mate, and swim back to shore and <laughs> go to the bar or something. Okay, let's, um... Oh, okay. Maybe that option's expired. I, uh, let's, uh, let's move on to something a bit different. So this is the Jetpack Howitzer by Steek, and... <laughs> Or maybe Steek's just, uh, so maybe Ghosty Kerman's just compensating for something. I don't know. I've only just really noticed that. <laughs> oh god! But this is a this is a fun little craft. Let's um, turn that on. Stability assist going. Pick up a bit of speed. Okay. Now let's uh, tone down on the. Um... Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Yeah, this is a fun little thing. It's a bit weird to control because if you're pointing the uh, pointing the jet straight down. Um, then, um, it, it, it's, yeah, and the axis, the axis, it's a bit off axis, but, uh, it's still fun to sort of flow around and see what you can destroy. This is a, an, I suppose, you can say an upgrade to the, uh, to the original jetpack Steak sent me, which, uh, had two Brownings on it, not quite as, uh, powerful. Also, this thing does have a lot of kick. Oh, we better lean ourselves forward. What can I get this damn thing down? Yes! So as I said, a lot of fun. Uh, another fuel tank. Let's see if we can fly around here. Oh, 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 more fuel tanks, more fuel tanks. Just because they, they're they kind of easy to one hit. Oh, there, there's the ground. There's the ground. There is a lot of ground coming up towards me. Oh, God. <laughs> Right, just about dodged that one. Um, anything else that's easy to destroy? Let's fly off over here towards the uh, towards the launch pad. Always a good one. That little thing there. Oh, bullseye! And another little fuel. T another tank of some description there, right for the uh, right for the plucking. So yeah, a fun little creation, and I really do enjoy this. Apart from, well, you know, uh, let's um, let's move on to our, our final little set piece for today. 
So I think we'll round off today with a dogfight between two high performers. Uh, first of all, we have The Cheat by Ben Aaron, um, a beautiful crab which uses uh, a few exploits here and there to boost its performance. Uh, I do like the sort of simplistic aesthetic of this. Let's um, move on to our next contender, the T Industries TDC, sorry, TD6BX Biscuit Blaster by Need More Tea. Now this, this is an interesting one. Um, it's not it's not your conventional very strong fighter, but it does have the Gawait and the Howitzer, which has proved incredibly lethal, including against a craft that was sent by one of my other subscribers specifically to counter this, <laughs> which it just minced. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's get this one started and see what happens. Here we go again then. Switching to dogfight cam now. I'm expecting. <sighs> Normally, you'd expect the uh, you'd expect the cheats to do exceptionally well. The uh, the one spanner in the works there is that howitzer cannon because they are, you know, with the uh, with the BD Armory AI and its ability to aim and all that, they are surprisingly effective. I mean, if you want to go back and see, if I did a video on this called Air to Air Artillery. They are kind of just a lot of fun but a bit ridiculous okay closing the distance the uh, the cheats are out of uh, are out of missiles at the moment that might make them a little bit vulnerable yeah having to uh, pop a lot of countermeasures as the tea in as the biscuit blasters I, uh, I think I should call them start loosing uh, lots of volleys of their own oh gunfire we have gunfire no Bryce Kerman is forced to break off but now might have one in its sights oh that's looking good Looking good. Very bad for the biscuit blaster, but very good for the um, very good for the cheats. Let's oh not that one. Oh, this is not looking good. Raw dogfighting ability, it appears, is coming to the fore against ridiculous guns. Steak Kerman in a heavily damaged craft, just about managing to keep it together. Those engines still going, the one Saturn and the two Typhoons, which should keep it in the air for the moment, but no, no, it's all over. That was brutal. Okay, so I suppose, yeah, no amount of, um, no amount of ingenious weaponry setups are going to just overcome raw dogfighting power, regardless of how questionably it may have been obtained. Um... That will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, my huge thanks to everybody who sent in one of these craft I've used today, and indeed everybody who sent in anything to any of the mailbags over that period. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, commenting, possibly following me on Twitter, uh, maybe getting involved with the Discord, Great KSP and BD Armoury community on there, and more besides. All those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. You too can get your own little Patreon curve like Bryce Kerman there, as well as access to the Patreon only Discord, access to everything I upload to Patreon, which <laughs> one day will include something more than the two uh, sort of behind the scenes footage things I've uploaded already, and of course all of your kindly, kindly pledged money does go towards helping me make more and better content for you people. Um, yes, I will be back soon with some more BD Armoury, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.